Hello YouTubers, this is Randy from Go Big Parts. Thought today I would uh, go through my gear bag and show you what uh, gear I use for snowmobiling. And just for the season in the background, <laughs> I have uh, on the TV a live camera view of Trail 7 up in Gaylord, Michigan. So you may see some sleds going by while I'm talking about this. So let's get started. So I'll go through the main pocket first. This is a fly racing gear bag. Um, it's on wheels and it's got the handle so you can just wheel it around. Um, very nice bag. Um, we sell these. I try to try to use and wear the products I sell. In some cases it just doesn't make sense for us to sell them based on our customer base online. So there are some things that I might wear or buy on occasion that I don't sell, but um, I like to try out the goods I sell and make sure they're um, good quality goods. So in the main pocket, first thing we have is my jacket. Now I'm gonna start by saying, um, underneath my gear, I wear the uh, either Under Armour, um, or the Fly Racing um, cold gear. Under Armour cold gear or Fly Racing, I think they have a heavy or a thin. I like typically wear the heavy, it's just uh, basically like your Under Armour. So this is a Fly Carbon jacket. Um, all the stuff I wear is not insulated because we do ride off trail a lot and we do go to the mountains a lot. So I tend to layer up, so I wear Under Armour Typically a mid layer, and then if I get hot, I can take that mid layer off, and I still have my coat. So, what I really like about this coat is it's three years old, and it's held up really well. Um, as you can see, it has the uh, area for your that uh, comes out over your wrist with the thumb hole, which is nice. And uh, you can obviously tighten the cuffs. Um, it's got vents that you can open under the arms. Um, plenty of pockets. It's got an inside pocket with a Walkman or a headphone um, spot to run your cord. Um, very comfortable jacket, very lightweight. And what I like, it's got the hood. So when you take breaks and it's snowing out, you can just pull that hood up and stay nice and dry. Very nice jacket. Um, I will say it's not a climb jacket. I know a lot of people buy climb. Um, I would call this a mid, middle grade, but high quality for that grade. Middle price. Actually, the price is very, it's priced very well. Um, and I don't know, I'm just very happy with it. Climb, you know, you might buy a suit for a thousand dollars. Here you're gonna pay less than half that for the bibs and the coat. And if it lasts three, four years, I'd say that's a pretty good buy. Here we got the Fly Racing, uh, I think these are the SNX pants. And these ones have just the suspenders on the front. And it has the, uh, just like a little, uh, snow flap thing on the back so you don't get snow on your back. Very good. On non insulated, they've held up very, very well. I'm on like year three with these as well. Uh, next, we have my tech vest. Um, I recommend everybody have a tech vest when they ride, just keeps you safe. If you have to case your handlebars or get thrown off your sled. Um, this one I've had probably for 15 years. So once you buy one, they last a long time. Very happy with it. Now, one of my newest, well, probably the newest gear I have right now, I just got this year. These are the 509 boots. Love these boots. They have the uh, turn for uh, tightening the laces on the side for the lower ones and then top for the upper ones for the tongue. Um, 
they're warm, they're lightweight, probably the best boots I've had yet. And I usually replace my boots every one to two years. Because the running boards and the uh, um, off trail, the mountain sleds are really rough on the bottom of boots. So um, I don't take no chances. I just replace them every year. But these are awesome boots. Keep your feet warm. Uh, the next thing I do is I wear knee pads or shin guards underneath um, just to protect my knees when I'm hitting jumps or bumps or run into the dash, whatever. Let's see what's in this pocket. Fly helmet. This is the Fly F2 carbon, so it's carbon fiber. Um, Running a uh, pair of 509 carbon, these are X5. You got the carbon fiber look frame and yellow lenses on quick straps. Very happy with those, but when we get into this other pocket, I'll show you another set of goggles I even like better. So let's go to that pocket now. Here we got the 509 X5s, and this year we have a new uh, series called the X6, new and improved, um, Ignite. So these are heated. What I like about these is if you do fog up, you can just hit the little button on the side of the battery here, and it turns them on and defrog, or defogs them right away. Um, battery lasts pretty much all day depending on how much you run it. You can hold the button in for three seconds and then they stay on all the time. Or if you just hit it once, um, the heat will stay on for, I believe it's 30 seconds or a minute and a half, and uh, then it goes off. Very happy with those. And then I got a 509 hat, beanie for when I stop, if I don't, if I take my helmet off. Um, Pretty important is to wear like a merino wool or a synthetic wool sock. Never wear cotton socks. I have lots of those in here. Next favorite um, thing are the 509 backcountry gloves. What I like about these is they have the longer gauntlet and then you can tighten that up around your cuff so you don't get no snow in. They're lightweight, they're Gore-Tex, and they stay dry. So these are uh, this season's gloves, just came out this season. They've made them for many seasons, but this is the new model. And I got more goggles. I always keep backup gloves, um, backup goggles. Um, usually, these are a true adventure, but they're like the 509 Backcountry. I got another pair of 509 Backcountry and two pair of these. Um, True Adventure gloves. And then the next important feature is a good head sock. This one's a fly racing. Um, it's not very thick. It's got a little bit of fleece on the inside, but it comes down long on the neck to keep your neck warm. So, uh, recommend one of those. Carry extra lenses. And BCA radio. This is important in the mountains. We also use them in uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan because we ride off trail a lot. We get separated a lot. And then we can call each other and let, let each other know where we're at and uh, meet back up and move on to the next spot. So BCA radio, pretty essential in the mountains, but handy in the UP. So those are the main things that I wear or bring with me. I always bring extra socks in my snowmobile, extra gloves, and an extra head sock just in case something gets wet. But uh, a lot of these products we sell, as a matter of fact, most of what I showed you. So if you got any questions or are interested in anything, please give me a shout. Um,
please comment below if uh, there's anything I'm missing or that you wear that you like. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.